Welcome to Norman, Oklahoma, and the heart of the Sooner Nation. Memorial Stadium already rocking with the sounds of Boomer Sooner. We're going to hear that all day. We've got a really compelling contest here. A team that's earned a top 25 ranking heading on the road for a serious test of their poise and their mettle. As we'll see the number 15 team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on another team from the SEC, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Sooners will kick this deep to get us going. The turn starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. So Alabama's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year, and I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. It's third and six. A challenging spot here on the opening drive. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. He stopped, but he gets a first down. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Alabama getting set for the first and ten now. Grab behind the line, it's Haynes. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Second down play coming up for this offense. Off play action. He's looking to throw. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. And now it's third down. Chris, they don't hit this pass, but I love the approach here as a play caller. Taking a shot and being aggressive. Getting that ball downfield. Stretching that defense. Try to keep those safeties back. It can open up other aspects of your offense. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order in this play. Looking to throw again. Pressure is coming. Looks like he's going to run it. Slides to avoid the big hit. Well, Chris, that's a great example of why we see these college football coaches bringing in baseball coaches to teach these quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy? Make sure he doesn't get hurt. That's exactly what he did on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and then pick up the first down. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. He's brought down out at the 46. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Second down after that previous play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Christina, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go and now fourth down. 
Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. And this punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. Kick lands out of bounds. They'll spot this down around the 20. So Oklahoma's offense comes out for their first possession today. And here we go, Kirk. This matchup on the edge that's going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver and a guy who doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. And the Sooners looking to run some tempo here. They'll hand it off. Solid run. They'll bring it down to the 28-yard line. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. I'm going to hand it off to the back. The Sooners are moving quickly down the field. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The offense will set up on first and ten. It's a run. Running back's got it. And the runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense in hurry-up mode. The pass is incomplete, but a flag is down on the field. Let's see what this is all about. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Short pass finds the tight end. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. Well, the offense is trying to create some matchups to their advantage, but, man, this defense is so athletic. Nowhere to go here after this catch. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Well, this sack is on the quarterback, in my opinion. Anytime you call a screen, you've got to be aware that that pass rush is coming in. Bait them towards you and go over top. This time, he's unaware of how quickly they're going to come in. The Sooners will have to punt this one away. But he's got some space here. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Some positive signs in the last drive. They moved the ball, but eventually stalled. Came up empty. Caught behind the line. It's Williams. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. A handoff from the shotgun. That's a nice tackle there by the senior.
Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Quarterback takes off now. Looking to scramble. Brought down at the 46. Good enough for a first down. Man, nothing is more aggravating for a defensive coordinator than this right here. You've got him. You've got a chance to make a play on him, take him out of his rhythm, but instead, this guy gets away from that pressure, tucks it, and picks up some big yards. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Running back with the football. Some hard running there through a tackle. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Offense getting set. It's second down. Snags a quick throw. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Good completion here by the offense. Good timing between the quarterback and his slot receiver. But I really like how this defense, sitting back at zone, is able to get to the football and not allow any yards after the catch. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. On first and ten, looking to throw. Tight end makes the grab. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Important second down play coming up. To throw. It's Milrow. He's running out of time here. Receiver makes the grab. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Getting set for the second quarter here. Both offenses searching for a spark. They didn't do much in the first quarter at all. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. Looking to throw yet again. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. This try is no good. With that miss, no change in the score. Oh, off the upright there. Boy, he hit it clean. It was end over end. I thought it had a real chance, and the ball just kind of kept moving on him, and then doink right off the upright. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Ball we'll handed off. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. And the Sooners looking to use the up-tempo offense here. The quarterback keeps the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. But the linebacker is really the quarterback of the defense on this play. Diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. He just flew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Must convert here on third down to avoid back-to-back -back punts to start this game. Looking to throw. It's Arnold. The pass rush closing in. Catch made on the right side. You know, it's third down as a quarterback. You're sitting there back in the pocket trying to find a matchup that you like. Pretty much everything taken away. I like his thought to get it to the running back because he's a talented, gifted player. But he just could not wiggle free to pick up the first down. The Sooners will bring their punt team onto the field. When he comes for his second punt of the game.
He's got some daylight turning on the speed. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Defense able to stop the ball carrier there. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. As the tight end flex out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. Man, when your quarterback can run the football like this, it puts so much pressure on the defense. The defense coordinator spent all week preparing his unit to be able to stop this offense. But when this quarterback's able to pull it down and pick up yards like that, it's an extra headache for the defense to have to deal with. Here comes a handoff. Right down after picking up five yards, so second and five. It's a really good, solid run. I know it's not the flashiest big play, but it's important for your offense to be able to get yards like that on early downs. You stay ahead of the chains, and it opens up the playbook for the second and third down coming up. Getting set. Here's second down. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Great cut there. Well, I know people want to talk about the spread, and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years. Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you down. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice gain. Second down play coming up. Caught in the backfield. It's Williams. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. First down, looking to throw the football. It's a quick grab, but a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. Alabama now operating in the red zone. To throw, it's Milrow. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can he keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first-level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second- and third-level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Kick is up, and no good. And with that miss, the score remains the same. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. The Oklahoma offense is back on the field. Last time was a quick 
three and out. And they get a drive going this time. The pocket breaking down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Runner scoops out of bounds after gaining decent yards. The Sooners will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Cut quickly. Breaks loose at the 45. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Chris, just a great throw here. Surgical and precise and doing what they need to do to be able to pick up that first down and keep this Oklahoma offense on the move. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Grab behind the line. It's Burks. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. That's the two-minute warning now here in the first half. Now it's second down here. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Bringing pressure. Oh, well, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. From the 15-yard line, it's second and long. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Catch made on the left side. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. And the timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Defense is coming after him. Looking to make a play deep downfield. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. The punt team making their way on the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the Sooners' offense is back on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Here's the second down play. Offense looking to throw the ball. Running back grabs it on the screen. 
That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. Trying to bait this defensive line to believing they have a shot to get to the quarterback on the pass. Instead, they recognize screen right away, make a really nice play for a lost yardage. Crucial third down play coming up. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab behind the line, it spawns. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. And the defense will spend their second time out here to make some adjustments. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. He gets it away, directional kick with nice distance. Punt goes out of bounds, looks like they'll spot it near the 15. A little bit less than 30 seconds to go before halftime, and it'll be first and 10. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back, and loss of yards, now you're behind the sticks. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Norman so far. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to watch this one unfold. Back to our guys in the booth. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Sooners' offense is back out on the field. They get the second half started with their running play. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, a lot of times as a play call, you go to the draw play because you feel the defensive front is just consumed with trying to get pressure on the quarterback. They go with the draw, but the defense is completely locked in. Does a nice job of showing discipline to completely negate the play. Handoff here from the shotgun. And they'll tackle at about the 23-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The Sooners hustle to the line to run the hurry up. And he'll drop back here on third down. Caught in the backfield. It's Sarcha. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the fair catch is made, but there's a flag down. So let's sort that out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Offense gets a second chance after the roughing the punter penalty. Caught over the middle. It's Burks. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the drag route. You prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? 
Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Running it back, it's Adams. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. This has been a struggle so far for both offenses. Can they finally get something going here? Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Second down play coming up for this offense. They're going to run it. The pickup is nine, so it sets up a third and one now. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Short connection to the tight end here. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. The back's got it. And that's a solid game before the defense is able to bring him down. Hat on the hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that previous play. Using his legs, it's Miller. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. Well, I feel like they called that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. An important third down attempt for this offense. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you got a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and 10. It's a fumble! The offense falls on the fumble, keeps possession. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? He hands it off from the gun. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. The offense has had really good rhythm in this drive. Running the ball, throwing the football. Seems like every play has been positive yards until that stop right there by the defense. And here comes the up-tempo offense. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. Close to the tight end. He's got it right near the end zone. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. They attack the deep middle of this defense, Kirk, come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties, and a big play as the result. Very efficient on third down, and now it's first down and goal. 
and try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. So they reach the end zone after a marathon march. How about the execution on that drive, Kirk? Well, I know a lot of times people get excited for the big plays. They're fun to watch. But what's impressive to me is an offense that can put together a long drive and then finally cap it off with a touchdown. That way you don't have to always rely on the big plays. That's a great drive. Now they line up to kick the extra point. He knocks through the PAT and ties the score here in the third period. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Picks up three yards, so second and seven. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Movement at the second level of the defense now. The Sooners come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. The shotgun run call. They'll tackle him at the 27. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. They'll try to run for the first down. And the Sooners pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. The Sooners with first and ten here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. He's brought down, but it's a first down spotted near the 41. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. The Sooners look to keep this drive moving. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Heck of a ride through a very competitive first three quarters if you check out some of the stats here. And let's see how this one unfolds in the final quarter set to get underway. Second down after that run on the previous play. Oh, and it's intercepted. Terrible mistake late in the game. They tackle him after a short return, but they get the football back and set up shop near midfield. Oh, Chris, you're in the fourth quarter. It's a tie game, and you throw an interception. Oh, my goodness. I know it's obvious, but you just got to take care of the football. It's that simple. Now their opportunity to take the lead is lost, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. 
They'll run it out of the shotgun. The pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Picks up a short game, but his swarm of the defense flying to the football. So an important third down play coming up. A field goal try here will be from 60. Can he make it to the marker? Tackled at the 33. That's good enough for a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Offense getting set. It's second down. to throw. It's Milrow. There's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up, but it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Third down play here out of the shotgun. Grab down the middle. It's Miller. I mean, wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive gain. Alabama has now moved into the red zone. On first down, it's play action. Grab behind the line. It's Haynes. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Looking to throw it again. Caught near the goal line. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Here's the option play. Pitch to the back. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. 
He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. And the Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. An inside give now from the shotgun. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Just a great play by the running back here. Finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Quarterback still with the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Important second down play coming up. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. And the runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy in your center today for this defense. But they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. To the air. It's Arnold. Running out of time in the pocket. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. Well, the defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down. Critical down in distance. Do a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. The Sooners will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? They start the drive with a quick throw to the right. Finds room at the 30. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. First and ten play coming up. Grab behind the line. It's Henderson. They stop him at the 45, but that's good for a first down. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Big third down play. If they can't get the stop, they have to consider calling a timeout. It's an option look. Hicks play to the back. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 15. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Let's it go quickly. 
but they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Incompletion sets up a second down. Scanning the field, it's Arnold. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. Shotgun formation here on third down. Pressure is coming. Escapes the pocket. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, there you go. You save your best scramble of the day for a bit of a situation in the fourth quarter, and you pick up the first. I mean, you don't want to use that early in the game, right? You want to make sure you save it for the exact moment and the key time and key moment in the game, and that's what he did. Although, you and I both know it wasn't planned that way, but a great job of using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing it was time to go. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. That's reeled in. It's Barnes. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards. But anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Burks. The offense calls timeout with 17 seconds left. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Chris, on this play, he has nobody open. It's better than taking a sack. He doesn't get intentional grounding because where he threw it, there was an intended receiver. I think there's no harm, no foul here. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. And he's back to throw again on second and ten. And the junior gets home making a sack there. 